The last few years have been nothing if not turbulent for JD. Ever since 2017, he's been engaged in a series of court battles against both his ex-wife Amber Heard as well as newspapers in the form of The Sun. The reason for these court battles is that Amber Heard has accused him of being an AB during their relationship, specifically their marriage. The newspaper The Sun picked up that story and put a scandalous headline on its front page as a result. JD has been waging war and taking hits ever since but now a potential redo might be in order. Allow me to break it down for you, but first, do me a favor, leave a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel. Well, let's get started. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel, so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching, and good luck. Number three. JD versus The Sun. As noted, this case and all of its offshoots have to deal with the question of whether JD was AB to his former wife Amber Heard. JD has refuted this consistently and has even proved in certain ways that this was Amber who was AB to him and not the other way around. This brings us to the libel case. JD was suing the newspaper over their headline that he AB'd his then wife and did so without any clear proof or evidence that it happened outside of her testimony. The court in November 2020 ruled against JD, stating that there was evidence that JD had hurt Amber Heard physically, and thus the paper was within their rights to go and print the article. Number two, the retrial plea. Depp has been trying to get that verdict overturned for a while, and now they may have a method of doing so. You see, when JD and Heard got divorced, Amber Heard noted multiple times that she would donate whatever settlement she got to two charities, but she never did. Depp's team has even proven this by getting regards from the charities and asking for proof that she did the $7 million donation, but all they could find was a $100,000 donation. In a statement to E! News, the Aquaman actress's attorney, Elaine Bredehoft, confirms her client has yet to fulfill the $7 million pledge she made to Children's Hospital Los Angeles and the American Civil Liberties Union, citing financial reasons. Amber has already been responsible for seven figures in donation to charitable causes and intends to continue to contribute and eventually fulfill her pledge, Bredehoft explains. However, Amber has been delayed in that goal because Mr. Depp filed a lawsuit against her, and consequently, she's been forced to spend millions of dollars defending Mr. Depp's false accusations against her. JD is arguing that due to her not providing the donation as promised, she proved that her testimony was invalid, and thus was using the promise of the donation to go and sway the judge and get the trial turned against JD. Number 1. A Bold Gambit whether this actually works or not is very much up in the air, mainly because it would require the judge to admit that he was swayed by the testimony given by the testimony in a way that made him unintentionally biased. That's not an easy thing to admit, but if the judge does rule for the retail, that would mean that Amber Heard's word would be in question, not just for the donations, but for everything else she said, and that could be a major turning point for the case. But with that being said, there you have it everyone, a look at the case that is going on with JD and how he intends to use Amber Heard's proven lies to go and clear his name and get justice for himself. Do you think that this tactic to get a retrial will work? or will the judge rule against him and set him back even further in trying to prove his innocence? Where does it all go from here? Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.